All right, guys, I've been waiting for this particular knife for uh, just over a month now. It was uh, anticipated to be from a month anywhere to uh, two months, and uh, I'm happy it was on the shorter end. Super excited about it. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing open and see what we got. bubble wrap out of the way. <laughs> it comes with a band-aid that's funny all right so uh this was ordered from tactical edge and here's their information in case you guys like what you see here in this video all right <clears throat> so, uh, invoice and then what do we got here this is uh one year warranty on all defects uh, in material worksmanship. And all right, cool. Keep the steel clean and oiled to inhibit rust. We suggest using Loctite adhesive on your mounting screws once you have decided on the orientation of your belt attachment. All right, and I'm sure there's some other good stuff there, but I'm not gonna read it on camera. All right, I just wanna check this thing out. Oh man, I ripped the sticker. I could have saved that. What it ate. Still can, I'll salvage it. I'll salvage it. I love stickers. I don't know why. I just do. Oh, yeah. All right. Moment of truth. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that thing is beautiful. So this thing is hand forged. Um, this isn't one of those, you know, buy it off the shelf type things. That's why it has that, uh, that four to eight week lead time and you get to pick your colors, what color handle you want, uh, what finish you want this, the, uh, the blade to have. Um, yeah. So I chose the, the green there cause I thought that would look cool on the, uh, the green on the OD man. It just looks awesome. Really pops, stands out. I love that freaking finish on the blade. Yeah, this thing is sharp as shit. I, I know why they give you the Band-Aid now. <laughs> you can, yeah, that thing is sharp. This thing feels awesome. It's like the perfect size too. Um, they have a bunch of different uh, knife options on their website. You can They can do custom options. Um, it's really freaking sweet. All right, so some specs on this thing. It has a total length of eight and three quarter inches. Does have this od green g10 gator back handle which feels freaking amazing in the hands um just really well balanced knife uh we got a 1095 high carbon steel hand forged blade and then it has that acid etched finish there um they have acid etched or black stone wash um i thought the acid etched looked much cooler um it's got the maker's initials engraved into it there so that's uh eddie mclemore here and then on this side nice and smooth i just i don't know man i really like how the uh hardware here is flush you can't uh it's just nice and plugged in can't see anything there super smooth i uh, got a hole here in case you want to run a lanyard or something crazy um i don't really plan to and then every order comes with a custom kydex sheath for this blade so Go ahead and throw that in there. You can adjust it, put it wherever you want. Then they obviously uh, recommend you lock tighten those screws once you get it set where you want it. So um, yeah, guys, this thing is pretty sweet. I've been wanting a hand forged American made knife for quite some time now. And I searched around uh, a lot of different sites. And obviously, you know, these things can range from, you know, depending on the size and, and everything that you're getting, they can range from as little as, you know, a hundred dollars to into the thousands. Um, and you kind of just got to do your homework, do your research, see what you're getting. Obviously price is always going to play a factor in your decision. Um, I know for me it does anyway. And I wanted something that was obviously quality, but obviously still didn't break the bank. And I wanted a, you know, a full size knife. I didn't want like a little, you know, something dinky like this where I could spend, you know, 80 bucks and get a hand forged knife. I wanted something, you know, that I could actually use as a tool. Um, 
you know, these guys say, you know, we don't make art, we make tools. And I, I really think that's important. A lot of people focus on the, you know, the prettiness of it, but it's not actually functional. This thing is pretty freaking sweet and it looks good on top of that. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty pleased. I, I think this is art and, uh, you know, hopefully I can, you know, take care of this blade and pass this down for generations because I mean, this thing is made, uh, right here in the U S of a quality materials. Um, and you know, somebody took the time to, to grind it out and hand forge this, this blade for me. So, uh, I'm going to do my best to take care of it and keep this in the family for a long time. Um, I love knives and I just, I finally wanted something that was, you know, I ordered it and it was made specifically for me by hand, not just run off some machine and, you know, produced it by the thousands. Um, so with hand forged knives, no two will be exactly the same. So if you wanted to order one of these, uh, just like mine, there might be slight variations in the blade and, and things like that, just because it is hand forged. It's not, you know, laser cut from a machine or anything. So I think that's pretty cool that uh, each one is unique in its own way. guys so again got the uh u.s tactical edge edc buoy knife out here and uh just wanted to get a change of scenery get outside for a little bit and potentially show you know what you would wear on an average day wearing something like this so i'm actually probably uh 90 percent gonna run this on one of my battle belts but i figured you know before i do that and make it a dedicated setup let's go ahead and throw it on the pants and uh see what it looks like so here it is exposed right here however just go ahead and flip the shirt down and nobody would really uh, know that you're carrying uh, such a large knife now when I say large I'm comparing it to most of the time when you're just rocking your little uh, foldable you know pocket knife with a clip throwing it away but literally takes up no space but then you have this right here never have to worry about a folding blade failing on you being super cheap this is 100% hand forged USA made here in the United States of America. And uh, Eddie McLemore is the guy behind um, US Tactical Edge. I keep this thing nice and lubed up. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the glimmer off the blade, but I keep it nice and lubed up. Not, not where it's dripping, but you know, it's not gonna get rusty or anything crazy. Um, you do have to take care of knives like these a little bit more than you know your coated knives and things like that. So um, this sheath comes included with the purchase again. Um, I may have a, a different sheath made for it where I can put the uh, the Blade Tech little uh, snap on here just to make it a little bit easier and better for me, especially if I put it on a, uh, a battle belt. I'd like that lock-in of the, uh, the Blade Tech uh, uh, fastener a little bit more than just the, uh, the loop here that comes with it. But, you know, that's just a preference thing. Some people may be perfectly fine with the, uh, the loop here. Sorry about the background noise. I'm uh, kind of near the uh, major interstate here, and uh, I don't know. I just wanted to get outside a little bit. So let me know what you guys think about the blade. Uh, a link for it will be down in the uh, description there, and uh, make sure you go check them out. Best prices I've found on uh, hand forged stuff. Can you find a little bit cheaper? Absolutely. Can you find just as good to work for the money? Absolutely not. So uh, again, check them out. Get yourself a nice handmade uh, hand forged knife and uh, do great things.